Hi guys! In the last video that I hope you enjoyed, I started showing you some of my succulent collection, uh, mostly Euphorbia succulents, and I'm going to continue now by showing you some of my Echeveria, Sedum, Sioniums, and some other succulent plants. Uh, since they're pretty uh, crowded on the second shelf, I'm going to take down some of them to the table so you can see them better close up. So let's start. So first on the second shelf are these two Ionium uh, plants. Um, one is Ionium kiwi. It lost uh, its yellowish uh, green color with red edging since it came inside. Uh, both plants, actually I have noticed that Ioniums are very, very prone to bruising and cuts and so you get these little black marks. Um, that I don't think are any illness because um, they continue to grow. Uh, I think it just they're very prone to uh, get damage when you like touch them and manage them and they're hard to ship. What's really exciting about these two plants that I just noticed a few days ago that they're starting to um, uh, grow, uh, if you can see here, rosette clumps. Uh, and it's the same on this plant as well right here and on this one as well. So I can't wait to see how that's gonna look like when it's bigger. All right, next one that I have on the shelf is this a very interesting plant uh, that uh, has a long name, uh, Hatiora salicornioides or Drunkard's Dream or Dancing Bones. I love this plant, like it's really interesting. And it was outside in a, um, more shaded area, or not on a direct sun, together with these two plants that also don't like to be on a south side uh, for on full sun for hours. Bear Spa. Um, I had this one for over a year. Um, I mean, it grew, but I noticed that all the new growth is not as big as when you get them in store. Like they really have like big paws. I don't know why is that. Do they miss something? Do I don't they give them enough water or they don't have enough light? I have no idea. But they look healthy, I think. And then this one here, I don't know the name of this one. Uh, if anybody knows, can tell me. Uh, it's really pretty. It was maybe like half of this size in diameter and just uh, grew a lot during the summer. It was part of the arrangement that was sold in clearance, so uh, it had a little bit of a mealybug infestation and I sprayed and um, actually none of the leaves got distorted and deformed. Uh, so um, it's doing really well. So let's go back up. Next one on the second shelf is this Graptopetalum Marquise de Sevigné. Just beautiful rosettes with blue purple color. As you can see, stems are really uh, long and have no leaves uh, because a lot of leaves got dry as the plant was obviously sacrificing them to get some water. Uh, maybe I haven't been watering it enough, I don't know. So what I might do is cut some of these plants and just uh, propagate the tops. Uh, so they don't look the way they are right now. Next to Graptopetalum is this Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg um, with beautiful colors. It finally stopped having any dry leaves, so I think I'm giving it enough water. I just uh, moved this moonstone to a bigger pot because the leaves were a little shriveled and the water was just running through the pot, so I think it's going to do better here in this little bigger pot. Uh, then here next to Moonstone is this Graptopetalum paragingeumis, I'm not sure how to say this word. I know it's called ghost plant or mother of pearls. Um, it's so crowded in this pot, I don't even know how many plants there is in there. There is some uh, leaves that are, I mean plant is propagating itself. Here you can see um, some more leaves that are growing new plants. I probably need to separate it and put it in more pots because they're just 
a little too crowded in this spot. Really pretty plant. This one here, I don't know what name of this plant is. Uh, the color was uh, kind of pinkish purple and pretty even until I put it under lights. So now it kind of looks a little weird. Um, if you know the name of this plant, you can let me know. I do have a mother plant of these two, and that's actually this here. Uh, only stem was left here on this pot. So this these plants grew out of those two stems. And these were the tops on, on these stems. So those are the same plants. Um, then here I have Hecheveria topsy-turvy. It had some sickly yellow color until recently. Now it's really nice icy blue. Um, I think it looks pretty good now. Um, I actually saved it. it at the end of the summer, usually Lowe's has a sales, clearance sales of succulents and they like sell them for 50% of the original price, sometimes even 25% of the original price and a lot of times they either have issues uh, due to overwatering, underwatering or pests and but you can still like get some really nice plants so I bought some of those arrangements and recovered some of the plants. So what's left here on the second shelf is this sedum jelly bean plant that's been doing great even though this pot doesn't really have a uh, drainage hole. I think I've been good uh, giving it a good amount of water. Um, then next to it is this plant that I don't know the name of. Um, it actually grew a lot during the, the spring and summer. Uh, it was attacked by uh, mealybugs that deformed the top leaves so on this uh, top I had to let just just remove the leaves that are deformed. This one hasn't been as bad so I didn't. This is I think Echeveria agavoides. Um, I found it in some local uh, nursery. Um, it was small and I put them also in this pot that doesn't have a drainage hole. Looks cute but I have to be careful when I water. Uh, this one here is Pachiveria glauca. Uh, very pretty blue color with sometimes like a, a, the orange yellow tops and has this uh, pup here that really needs to be moved because it's kind of crowded. Um, then this one here is really interesting. It's a hybrid between Echeveria and Graptopetalum. So it's called Graptoveria amatorum. I love colors and plumpy leaves on this one. You see these edges. Uh, it's very interesting. It's like painted. Um, then here is something that looks like a Chiveria Black Prince, but it's not. It's a different name. Um, uh, something starting with C. I can't remember. We'll see how it's going to do. It kind of missed leaves when I got it not long time ago. This one here is Echeveria Petrus Pearl. It reminds me so much to um, Echeveria uh, Pearl von Nuremberg, just different colors. Um, and then this one here is kind of similar to the big one that I showed you a little bit earlier. I don't know if they're exactly the same, but this little guy I lost all of the leaves. Well, it didn't lose them. They were all burnt on the sun. So I started uh, picking and cutting each one as the new one was growing and until they all got replaced because when you have sun damage, it's permanent. It looks kind of ugly. And now it has all new leaves. And it's doing really good. Um, this one here is also some Echeveria. It was in the same arrangement as this one uh, on clearance. Um, and has pretty long stem, so maybe I need to uh, propagate it, uh, cut off the top, and it has a little pup here. This one here, it was only stem left, as the plant was sick, so I ended up cutting it off. I don't remember what the name of this one is, I really don't know what it is, but it has like three plants growing on one stem. And then this one is kind of struggling a little bit. Hopefully it's going to pull it through. Sedum triolase. Um, I, I think it's really pretty. It reminds me to Sedum clavatum. And I like that plant a lot. Um, this one here, I also don't know the name of. Uh, if somebody knows, can tell me. 
really content plant. I mean, doesn't have any dry leaves, doesn't have yellow leaves, just kind of grows new leaves. Very happy, <laughs> not asking for much. And uh, I don't know if I showed this one already or not, but this one um, was also in an arrangement that was on clearance and it had a root, root rot and yellow leaves on the bottom, so I cut it off. I cut off top, I, I removed the yellow leaves and it rooted successfully now and it's growing. Uh, so it's a really pretty plant. All right, so uh, that would be uh, my second shelf. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, see you in the next video where I'm gonna show you some more of my succulent and cacti collection.